French fried potatoes, red ripe tomatoes. I ain't never satisfied. I want the frim fram sauce that I'm so fed. Chef Bye Bye on the side. Hi, oh, no. welcome to Robert's Most Jump Cooking Show. Today from Isiola Lodge in Linville, North Carolina, is the Tow River Lodge. Will Young, the executive chef, one of the family members there. Tow River Lodge in Plumtree. And Plum how Tree. do you get there? Uh, you actually just get on Highway 19E. It's directly between uh, Newland and Spruce Pine. Yes. Uh, You'll run right into it. I mean, it's so easily found. I was there last Sunday, and your food was fabulous. Well, great. You, get you are going to prepare some dishes, but before you say that, it's a family owned and operated restaurant That's and it's correct. so wonderful yep the atmosphere comes the, forth as family the, the loving the fighting it, it all comes we, we like to say that we love hard and we fight hard so <laughs> that's just the way it goes uh, especially in the restaurant lodge. business yes so, no doubt well, i'm excited to be here today i'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to do okay uh i'm going to start off with an appetizer of some smoked trout crostini and uh, that is uh some trout that i smoked in house uh, with some apple and hickory woods uh -huh. Uh, so we're going to place that on uh, a piece of French bread with some tapenade cream cheese. And then on top of the uh, trout, we'll place some uh, bacon mm -hmm. as well as some uh, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Next, we have some Sambuca salmon. And that's a great salmon dish with uh, some uh, garlic, shallots, some yes. Sambuca liqueur, uh -huh. uh, shrimp, scallops, mm -hmm. of course the salmon, mm -hmm. and uh, finished off with some uh, uh, roasted red pepper, spinach, and heavy cream. Uh, and lastly, we have a uh, chocolate French toast a la mode. And that's a, uh, a batter bread that's been uh, sweetened with brown sugar, stuffed with chocolate, uh, sliced, made into French toast. Yeah. And then that's placed on some uh, creme anglaise and uh, topped with uh, vanilla and chocolate ice cream. So the really roof tasty. is raising here again on Robert's Most Young Cooking it's, it's Show. Gonna How exciting, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Will Young from the Tow River Lodge in Plumtree, North Carolina. We'll be right back. The Country Gourmet of Costco is the place to find wonderful gifts and the finest cookware. Dishes, silverware, candles, clocks, and many surprises. Even those hard to find items that you can't get anywhere else. Gifts for him, gifts for her, gifts for anyone who enjoys special things. For more than 30 years, the Country Gourmet has been a must-see stop in the high country, so don't miss it. Visit the Country Gourmet weekdays 10 to 5 and Sundays noon to 5. The Country Gourmet of Costco, where kitchens meet creativity. Good vision is one of life's most precious gifts. The folks at Appalachian Eye Associates in Spruce Pine have been dedicated to preserving that gift. Regular eye health and vision exams are the most important step in seeing your best and catching eye disease early. Special instruments help doctors Walker & Walker find and treat eye disease before vision is lost. Make it a point to have your eyes checked regularly and help preserve that most precious gift. We're coming back to Robert's Most Yum Cooking Show, Chef Will Young from the Tow River Lodge. Yeah, well let's go ahead and get started on that first dish and that's the smoked trout crostini. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is just slice these bread uh, pieces of bread directly down the middle. Okay. And then we'll spread them with some of this uh, tapenade cream cheese. We'll get a nice liberal coating on that. Oh yes. Now tapenade is a term. Yeah, it's just a, uh, it's, it's a, a green olive uh, uh, paste made with uh, uh, some anchovies and, uh, or excuse me, sardines. Uh, green olives, black olives if you'd like, some garlic, mm -hmm. uh, olive oil, and various other, other ingredients. Uh, you know, if you choose to, you mm -hmm. can put some shallots for mm -hmm. sure. There's a, there are so many variations okay. uh, on the, on the tapenade. Show us how you'd like yeah, that, and not, I'll spread not, the rest of them for problem, you. Not a problem, not a problem. So what we'll do is we'll start right here, yes. and we're just going to put a nice liberal coating. Yes. Not too much. You don't want okay. it to completely overpower, but you, you definitely want enough on there Boy, to, uh, a pretty green in to there. taste it. Yes. Yeah, for Red sure. Peppers. So while you're doing that, okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start on the uh, rest of the preparation. Sure. So for these, I'm going to take actually a, uh, a whole filet. Look at that. Of, you smoked uh, those in your restaurant. I did, I did, uh -huh. and they're they're really tasty. Yeah. So after, after we put the uh, trout on, we're going to take uh, some bacon, which is right here. Okay. And uh, now, we'll just, would you like me to cut the? Yeah, leg? just cut it, cut, cut it that to where it'll, it'll lay nice and flat. Mm -hmm. So sure. I like to use just a little, uh, you know, crisscross pattern yes. here with the bacon. It's oh, a, yeah. it's a little bit more decorative. Yes. But uh, and that's very popular to do, you know. Yeah. Of put the bacon on top of the trout. Exactly. I mean, yeah. The flavors just yes. marry well together. Yes. So mm -hmm. We'll just uh, come back in here. Hmm. 
put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Yes. So now we've got more bacon. All right. And now, you know, before you get started with this, you want to preheat your oven to about, you know, uh, 400 degrees, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. That's, yes. a, that's a good temperature. You don't want it too hot because you don't want to scorch your bread. You want it to uh, toast the bread a little bit and, and make sure that it heats everything yes. uh, through. You know, none of the ingredients uh, that we're using here are, uh, are raw. The bacon I've uh, lightly cooked, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, it, it won't take long to finish off in a 400 degree oven. Oh, yes. Now, uh, you've got a web page. I've seen it many times and it's we so do. attractive. Well, thank you. I appreciate you saying so. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Vance Tow River Lodge com. V A N C E. Mm -hmm. And the reason we called it the Vance Tow River Lodge is because the building was originally the TB Vance General Store that was built around oh, uh, 1916. Yes. And so we decided to keep the Vance name just to kind of show reverence to uh, to what it once was. But uh, yes, to the community. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But when when we got it, it was very run down. So we gutted the entire thing cut all the lumber ourselves on an old wood miser, which is a portable sawmill. Yes. And basically just started from scratch. My father's uh, the visionary. We thought he was a little crazy, but uh, yes. <laughs> now, 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 yeah, Cleve, Cleve. my father, Cleve. Mm -hmm. And but, Robin. Uh, exactly, my mother. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, now, now we're the ones that uh, look a little crazy for not having caught the, uh, the vision that he saw from the very beginning. But uh, these are Wonderful. completed yes. and we'll uh, pop those in the oven okay. and uh, let them finish off and then we'll plate. We'll but, be uh, right back. Gadabouts, full service catering, you do it all, don't you? We can do anything. If we want to go simple, we can start with our fabulous hickory smoked barbecue that we cook ourselves eight to ten hours. Or we can go to something elegant as uh, grilled lobster tails, filet Ooh. mignon. Ooh. We uh, have our own linens, china. Uh, we can provide tables, that everything you need. We try to find out what you know someone's looking for and we tailor a menu to that. So it's a, it's a custom arranged experience. Yes, sir. Uh, have food, we'll travel. <laughs> Visit Eric's and Banner Elk. It is the place for wine and specialty beers, of course, but you'll also find the best selection of domestic, imported, and artisanal cheeses in the high country. There are over 100 varieties to choose from, cut to order, so you can always taste before you buy. Eric's has pate, spread, pesto, olives, nuts, special oils and vinegars, coffee, tea, fresh baked baguettes and cookies, jams, jellies, dessert sauces, plus an incredible assortment of chocolate bars. But service is really what Eric's is all about. Let their friendly staff help you find exactly what you're looking for Eric's cheese and wine in Banner Elk. Now this the salmon sambuca. It's uh yeah I actually like to say sambuca salmon. You yeah. Know, it has a little <laughs> bit more flair that way and rolls off the tongue a little easier. Yes. How do you prepare uh, these? Well, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get some of these nice big jumbo shrimp. Yes. And uh, we're just gonna pop the tail here. Okay. okay? All right. And uh, from there. We're going to slice the shrimp yes. directly down the middle. Okay. I like to do this for two reasons. One, it's going to cook a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. And two, when the shrimp actually cooks, it'll curl and it gives it a nice uh, visual a decorative appeal. visual look. Mm -hmm. So if you want to focus on those and finish those up, I'm going to start putting some okay. other ingredients in the pan. Will do. Uh, we're going to start off with a little bit of olive oil. Yes. This is important. Olive oil mm -hmm. uh, yeah, gives flavor, it that great flavor. Mm -hmm. All of the above. All yes. right, next we're going to add some of these wonderful shallots. Uh, slice oh, yes. nice and thin, but... Show uh, them the shallots. Yeah, there, but what you, you, want, you want to make sure that uh, when you slice it, you kind of leave the integrity of the, the shallot. You don't want to dice this because a lot of people are, uh, you know, going to substitute red onion and you want it to look like a shallot when it goes out. So... Uh, but don't do red onion. Use shallots. Yeah, I mean, you can get shallots. Sure. I mean, I mean that's a high-end cooking is, product. You know, you can substitute if uh, if you just can't find any. But uh, I would I would recommend these. Yes. Uh, highly so next recommend we're those. Throw